today, we're going to do the last four gates of Aleph, which are also the last four gates of Gibura. Now, all the paths that lead into a Sephirot build that Sephirot. They're all the ingredients of the Sephirot that sephirotic state, that state of the awareness of the one as it goes through this process of self-realization. So, in Gabura, we had very first that hidden path between Kether and Gabura. So that comes into Gabura and is sort of the archetypal seed of the sephirotic self. Then next, we had the path of Dalith coming from Bina into Gebura, the path of Mars. Okay, so again, it's the supernal realm placing its imprint in the Sephirot. <clears throat> then we had the path of Virgo, of Teth, or excuse me, of Yod, coming from Tiferet, which again, <clears throat> this time it's not the supernal realm sticking its stamp, it's the higher level of the solitary self putting its stamp on this lower level of the solitary self. Then last, we had Aleph, and which we'll be completing today. So this is the final ingredient of the Sephirot before it shifts to the next level, okay? In this case, it's going to be Yesar, which is a, a step change, you know? Um, but <clears throat> it is the solitary self that descends into manifestation. So from this point forward, it's the solitary self who is taking on this clothing of an astral body so that it can interact at a physical level. <clears throat> so these are all the ingredients. And each gate for each of the paths that enter a Sephirot adds things to that impetus coming along that path. So all of these gates of Aleph have started in Gejula and gone to Gebura. Excuse me, other way here. <clears throat> but that is the nature of building the Sephirot. So what this gate process is, is building the Sephirot, maturing the Sephirotic state through these connections with what is above that state. That is what matures that state to the point where it then takes another move in that process of self-realization. Okay, so these four gates add something, something critical to that movement from Gedjula over to Gebura, from the collective to the uniquely individual. This is a, a, a critical uh, movement in awareness in that goal of ultimate um, physical manifestation. Okay? It is these last ingredients which take the awareness of the solitary self from its focus on itself, essentially, to the shift in focus away from just self to self and other. And that becomes the primary focus. So what it needs is these last four ingredients to be mature enough to make that shift. Now, <clears throat> this is two quadrangular gates, well, one triangular gate, 
two quadrangular gates and our very first pentangular gate. Okay. So our first gate is a quadrangular gate. Starts in Gedula, across along the path of Aleph to Gebura, up the path of Daleth to Bina, up the path of Vav to Kether, down that hidden path to Gedula. And then back up that hidden path to Kether, down Vav to Bina, Daleth to Gebura, and Aleph back to Gedula. Now, at a universal level, what this is doing is integrating <coughs> this part of the supernal realm, <coughs> excuse me, mostly this part of the supernal realm, into the dynamic of the, <coughs> the solitary self awareness which is the primary awareness that is descending into manifestation. The solitary self, okay? So this needs to be intimately integrated with the supernal realm. And that is what this path is doing. This is what this path is beginning the process of doing. <clears throat> and in the working of this path, the primary focus is on that descent into Gedula. The first time you do it, it's going to be major. Because as you move through a gate, you are taking awarenesses with you, like you're, you're bringing the Gedula awareness into Gebura. And you're taking this Gebura, Gedula awareness up to Bina. And then you're taking the Gedula Gebura Bina awareness up to Kether. And then you're taking that combined awareness down into Gedula. So it's a, there is weight to that descent. And it transforms the understanding, the relationship with Gedula. Okay? And then going back around and ending up in Gedula again, it's a different Gedula than it was when you started out. Because you have mixed these levels of awareness and these levels of awareness evolve, or rather your awareness of these levels of awareness evolves. <clears throat> your access to them increases, etc. At a personal level, again, it's that descent into Gedula from Kether that is the most important here. Okay. <clears throat> the next is our first pentangular gate. <clears throat> now, the pentangular gates are really interesting. The the quadrangular gates are somehow balancing. There's a balancing happening in a quadrangular gate. <clears throat> Especially the truly square ones, like the quadrangular gate we had in the la ended the last uh, uh, video with. <clears throat> it's very balancing. Um, now here, <clears throat> what we're doing is we're bringing in Kether to the equation. Uh, and that changes everything. It changes the perspective entirely. It matures the connection with the sentient self, between the sentient, the, between the solitary self and the one self, okay? And it's very, this connection is very important because the solitary self is sort of the envoy of the one self. It's that little reflection that manifests itself in the, the temporal present moment. So it's important. <laughs> and so that connection is really important. And that's what this gate does, is it matures that connection. So the gate goes from Gedula, along Aleph to Gebura, 
up Dalith to Bina, up Vav to Kether, down He to Chokma, down <coughs> Gimel to Gedjuva. Okay. So we've made the whole inclusive circuit here. And we've also outlined a full half of the tree of life. This is the upper half of the diagram, okay? <clears throat> and then we go back, we return. Up Gimel, up the path of Jupiter to, get, to Chokmah. Up the path of Aries to Kether. Down the path of Taurus to Bina. Down the path of Mars to Gebura. And over the path of Air back to Gejula. Now, the first time you do that, from a personal perspective, uh, it's going to be uh, integrative. <laughs> it, it sort of, things fit together more. You're more stable. The, the uh, solitary awareness is connected, is integrated and stable. Second time that increases, the third time is like a rock solid connection. Okay. <clears throat> so that is one gate that is worth pursuing in depth. But so is the next gate. Now this is the triangular gate. And this ties uh, the Gadula Gabura uh, aspects of the thinking mind. This is the air region of the temporal mental body. This is the part of mind that thinks, that labels, that deals with ideas as if they were things, okay? Um, it unites that part of awareness, which is a very important part of awareness for everything, not just humans. <clears throat> it binds that part with Kether directly. Okay? So this is very, very powerful gate. It begins in Gedula, follows Aleph over to Kibura, takes the hidden path up to Kether, and then the hidden path down from Kether to Gedjua. Okay. And then the reverse. The hidden path up to Kether from Gedjua, down to Gebura, and then over along Aleph back to Gedjua. Now, <clears throat> yeah, like I said, it integrates this part of the awareness directly with Kether. Directly with the prime mover, you know, directly with the source of that little reflection. Okay? The inner power of all things is reflected right here in this level of awareness very purely and that is what is gained from the universal and the personal working of this gate and well worth pursuing in depth okay it's one of those get, gates that especially at this stage right before the shift to Yesod this is it's very wise to pursue this gate in depth. Now, the last gate is a quadrangular gate that is the mirror of the first gate. So, it goes from Gedjula along the path of Aleph to Gebura, along the hidden path from Gebura up to Kether, from Kether down to Hokma down to Gedjua. Okay? 
So it's just a mirror of that first path. Then we go back up, <clears throat> up the path of Gimel and Jupiter to Hokma, up the path of Aries to Kether, down the path of Vav to Bina, no, excuse me, down the hidden path from Kether all the way to Gibura, and then back along the path of Aleph. Now, in this gate, what's most consequential is that return descent into Gibura. That's the most transformative aspect of this gate, okay? Now, descending into Gejula is also powerful, but it's not as significant to the gate as that return descent into Gebura. The, the hidden paths are always swift. They're always sort of a, <clears throat> an undeniable current. <laughs> that takes you swiftly um, into the lower Sephiroth. Okay. So, <clears throat> that completes Gebura. We've shoved as much into Gebura as we can, okay? Next, Gebura has to give birth. Just like Bina gives birth, okay? So, that's next time. Till then, bye-bye.